No, your eyes don't deceive you. This is Iron Bill. I'm back again with another video, and tonight's offering is going to be Elimination. I promised to play PvP this week a little bit. I did a little bit. I played a couple matches of Control, and like I thought, uh, Stasis, you know, if, if you recall before Beyond Light dropped, I posited that it was possible that stasis might be a little out of control at the beginning because most things that, that get introduced are um and this is new in boy control right now plays like mayhem and i think any 6v6 um arena would now i had a match where i got my typical 15 uh, eliminations and i did okay but Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, I was never really that gung-ho on PvP anyway, for the most part, just because of the matchmaking being so lopsided as it is. But you toss lopsided and, um, you know, the t uh, top players specced out for, you know, really high-end stasis stuff. And, and, yeah. Anyway, I switched my grenade up here. And I accidentally jumped into some elim. I, I really didn't intend to do this. And I just wound up doing it. And I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit because it, it, there's not much to see. I am uh, using no uh, no time to explain. Uh, I, I jump around here a little bit. This is my first elimination match in weeks, probably. And this is not the skill-based matchmaking solo queue. This is the you know free-for-all version. And I'm trying to sort out what my team is trying to do here. I knew they had a sniper up there. Um, and yeah, we just kind of fell for it there. Simp Slayer just kind of just ran right in there. Um, Troy Boy, our Tiny Boy, was was a decent player. And the thing is, whenever you you, you go in solo queue, you never know what your team's going to do, and you'll always have that. Uh, it seems like most of the time you'll have that guy that just just dives right in, just goes straight at him. And maybe they're great players, and I'm not filling some kind of a role they expect me to fill. I don't know, because I'm not a great player. But I was kind of hang back because like before I got that res uh, when my teammate went down right here in the doorway and uh, you know we need to move as a team we're not doing a very good job I, I see I thought I could get that melee off there and freeze them on the wall before they pegged me but there were two of them sitting up there and uh, you know he got me you know so that was a bad move on my part and I'm really starting slow here uh, tepid uh, in my movement, uh, you know, I'm going along predictable lines, but uh, I do get a get picked up here, and then I decide to go down the hallway here and play a little bit more cover and see if I can get a line on people. And I just need to settle down because I almost had that guy, and I had the, the one in front of me, and this guy is just going to peck me because instead of going around, I come through that door again to get cute, and he just nails me. But my teammate got him. Uh, that was enough, I guess. I served my purpose. Now, I haven't gotten a kill yet. I don't believe I have. I might have gotten an assist, but I, I didn't. I haven't gotten a clean kill yet. Typically, elimination before stasis was uh, pretty much a stand back. And, uh, you know, you, you play together and you just wait for someone to make a mistake. And uh, it's a slower pace game, typically. But I'm going to make these guys pay for charging us. And this guy's going to come through the hallway here in just a second. I know he is. And I'm just going to be patient. Then I decide to, to creep up here and catch him from behind. He gets out of the way in time. And I throw my grenade against the wall. I mean, I'm just playing super stupid. <laughs> I just, I cannot get it together. And Tiny Boy is keeping us in it. But I think Simp Slayer had just about enough after this and and uh yeah now i realize that no time to explain was not doing me well i've decided to go ahead and, and try a hand cannon true prophecy i hadn't tried one yet and there goes sim slayer he's gone so now it's 2v3 and i'm thinking man i don't, I don't care you know what the heck uh, you know, this is the tryout phase anyway this is the experiment i'm not going for any rank it, it just doesn't matter so uh, I'm going to just see what I can do. Troy, I think, just kind of, our tiny boy just set back. And I just can't land a shot. Of course, there were 3v1. Uh, it really wasn't a 1v1 deal. And, uh, yeah. These guys are thinking, okay, free meal. 
and I see that I'm not going to be able to, because I don't have the mobility on my uh, Warlock to be able to strafe shoot, it's probably not going to be a great idea. So I, I go back to the gnawing hunger. I figure, well, what the heck? It can't be that bad. And, uh, you know, if I can hold a little bit of range, uh, I've got a little bit better chance. And so now I lay down here in, in, the, in the hallway because they're three to one. They, they got to figure by this point in time they got it made. And I make him pay for it. So I'm going to sit on the orb. If they're communicating at all, that they know they've got the orb. Okay, now I've created a mess for this guy. He's above me. I know he is. He doesn't know what to do about it. He's he's clumsy. And the stasis has given him just enough trouble that he can't get to me. And we finish him off. My teammate got one. I got two. And we're starting to, to get somewhere. Now again, it's... Two to three, they pretty much have the upper hand, but I, you know, as long as they'll keep coming to me in the hallway, I figure, well, what the heck, you know, I've got a defensible position more or less, and here he comes again. Now I know he's probably going to come back with a super or a melee, so I'm going to back up. And I think, sure enough, I get pegged right there with the super out in the open. There are three of them on us, and of course, in elimination, once a player quits on you, you're stuck. And Tiny Boy, I'll give him a ton of credit. He, uh, I think after that first round where we went to, um, you know, against three, I think he realized I was going to stay in the fight one way or the other. I may not be a great player, but I was going to play. <laughs> and I think he, he just kind of said, well, all right, you know, and kind of like me, what difference does it make? And he's actually making a good run for it here. Only one minute left. So they've got us. And Tiny Boy, he, he closes it down. Good for him. So he closed out his round. I closed out a round. Now we're 3-3. Three, three. And I'm thinking, hey, 2v3 in, in open, uh, you know, connection-based matchmaking. We're doing, uh, I mean, we're not up against great players, but, you know, it could have been. And uh, we're doing okay. So they're going to come through here again in a second. If they don't, I'll move down the line. They're kind of a bit more cautious. And I'm backing up because by this point in time, I'm almost on my super. And I figure if I can get to the super before they rush me, yeah. And now I have no choice, but I have to play the super. So I'm going to get way back and make them kind of rush me. Watch this. Here they come. And there was no chance at that point he was going to get away. Now I've got it down to one. And... There it is. <laughs> and I figure, well, you know, that was more luck than anything. And I'm thinking, all right, you know, we got it. 4-3, and then I forgot, oh, it's best of five. So, <laughs> anyway, we did all right. We did all right up to that point. And uh, we brought it back. We were 3-1, now we're 4-3. And, uh, you know, we're 2v3. There's a lot more positive going on here. Now, I, I will say that we weren't playing very well together. Indi we were playing, we were making individual plays. But, uh, you know, now they have their super, and, and it went off, and I heard it. And uh, I just cleared out. Now, my teammate did not. And that's one of those deals where if we were communicating, I could say, hey, you got to run. Uh, he didn't. And I'm assuming that's what got him based on all the stuff over there. I, I picked one up, but I'm not going to be able to, to guard the orb because they're, yeah, that sniper. They are charging, which is what they should do. They're going to res their player, I'm sure. I can't work back around to him. I just can't get there. Because they're going to close it on me sooner or later. Yeah. I took that one wrong turn there. Tossed my grenade. But there are just too many of them. I just about, though. I just about got one of them. 
I slowed those two down, but the, the third one came from a different angle. And uh, what are you going to do? So, uh, could not close that out. So here it is, match point. One way or the other, somebody goes home a winner, and somebody goes just goes home, as they said in the League of Their Own. And uh, I don't know who Tiny Boy is, but if you if you're watching this, hats off to you, man. You're a gamer. You know, it would have been easy to leave, and I would have been one v three on this. Got him. Got a clean kill on him, but I can't, of course, do anything about stopping the res. I tried and died as a result. Now, uh, Tiny Boy cannot get to my res without getting sniped. They've got him now. They've got the numbers. And that was just the unfortunate thing. I got I got a good pick. Got the numbers down. And watch this. The teabag. You know, I was like, okay, big guy. You know, 3v2 and we took you to the wall. So, <laughs> I don't know what you're teabagging about, man. And that's the immature stuff that, you know, is really kind of off-putting about competitive play. It's just kids. You know, whatever. You just have to blow it off. And what is it they do? So, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, Tiny Boy, kudos. Great player. Um, we did we did great. You know, KD doesn't show it. Um, but it doesn't matter. You know, we really had our backs against the wall. And, and honestly, that's my first match in forever. Um, and the first of, of uh, Beyond Light. And with new stasis. And uh, that's okay, you know. Um, it bodes well. And, and I'll be honest with you, I might play a little bit more Elimination uh, just because I don't like the chaos of control right now in Clash. I mean, 6v6 just isn't a lot of fun at the moment. I, and I'm not calling for a nerf, but I think it'll happen. Um, I think ultimately something will have to happen or people will leave. And then it's going to get really toxic and fast. So uh, meta hasn't settled yet uh, that I know of, that I've caught, but it's only a matter of time. So... Um, I do want to say that I finished my uh, Warlock to the point, I think I'm at just under two, uh, 1224, and I started my Titan today, and I'm not through the campaign, but I'm already at 1222, and uh, I'm going to play that out tomorrow, play the campaign out, try to get a couple pinnacles done, and hopefully I've got that one in the neighborhood of 1235, something like that, and maybe start on it on Tuesday and then leapfrog my hunter over that and then come back to my warlock uh, as time permits. I think after the big surge of getting through the campaign the first time through each of the characters, uh, things will move a lot quicker. But there's so much to unlock, it, and, and that is not a complaint. One of the things I loved about Destiny 1 was it took you a while to actually develop your full power, and, and that's the MMO side of it uh, from a, the PvE side. You don't get to have all your powers. You have to grow into them. You know, that's what standalone games used to be like. I mean, it's like, they don't give you all the great guns the first day, you know. That, that That's the reward. That's what you're striving for. So, uh, from that standpoint, I'm all right with it. And I'm not worried about being a day one raider, so who cares, you know. So, anyway, that's enough rambling. And um, I have not found the weapon that I like best yet. Um, I, I'm just slapping blues on on my... Uh, Hunter or my uh, Titan right now. I don't care what the stats are. It doesn't matter. My light level's high enough. I'm just going to save my resources and build up my Glimmer again so that I can actually do a build when I'm ready to, to do a build. So that's the state of my play right now. I'm keeping a stiff upper lip about the competitive stuff. Gambit is fun. I'm enjoying that. Um, it's quick and easy, and it's just a blow-off event. It's what I want. I know it makes some people upset who are really into it. I'm sorry for them happy for me you know so when I lay my head on the pillow at night I guess I gotta I gotta worry about me in the end uh, so yeah it's a little selfish but yeah I think it was a needed change I really do uh, and the PVE stuff in general is just a lot of fun so new quest should be dropping on Tuesday I think exotic stuff will be coming soon Hawk Moon is coming soon the exotic sword is uh, coming soon so, yeah, stay tuned. So, with that, this is Iron Bill, and I'm signing off.